Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be talking about major 7th arpeggios. If you have not already done so, make sure to check out our video on major triad arpeggios before hopping into this lesson to understand arpeggio basics. There will be a link to that lesson in the description below. A major 7th chord is simply a major triad with an added major 7th interval. In jazz, the 7th and 3rd intervals in a chord are referred to as guide tones, since they define the quality of the chord as major, minor, or dominant. We will take a look at finding intervals in a C major 7th arpeggio using the five caged shapes. First, you will plot the major thirds and fifths, just as we did with major triads. The only additional step we must take is to find the major seventh interval in each shape, which is easy to locate as it is one fret below the root. Another way of looking at the chord tones in a major seventh chord is to view the seven three and 5-1 as two pairs of perfect fourths. As you might now know, the Nandy method uses a fourth perspective with regards to the fretboard. Since we know that the guitar is tuned mostly in fourths, we can plot these fourths as pairs in addition to the two roots to complete any shape. Here, you see the fourths pair 7-3, half step below the two roots. If you look closely, the 7-3 pair an octave apart appear in the same shape as the two roots, which is the C shape. This holds good for every shape. The 7-3 takes the same shape as the roots in the shape as the 7 falls on the same strings as the roots in each shape. Now, we already know from doing the major triad arpeggios that 5 to 1 are adjacent fourths. When you fill in the duplicate notes on both E strings, you have a C major 7 arpeggio in the C shape. Next, Let's move on to the A shape. Fourths, seven, three are adjacent intervals on the same fret, except when a fourth falls on the B string, which in this case, the three moves up one fret. Here are the fifths in the A shape. Now, let's take a look at the complete A shape. This is how the 7-3 pairs below the two roots appear in the G shape. Now let's take a look at your fifths to the left of the two roots. And finally, a look at the entire G shape. Now let's move on to the E shape. You see the 7-3 pairs below the two roots. Your 5-1 pairs as they appear in the E shape can now be shown below. And finally, here are all of the major 7th chord tones found in the E shape. Lastly, let's move on to the D shape. Here are your 7-3 pairs in the D shape. Here are your 5ths in the D shape. And finally, here is your complete D shape with all of the major 7 chord tones. Alright guys, there you have it. Please subscribe and check out all of the other videos on our channel. Check out the Nandy Method website. Pick up Guitar Intervals Unleashed on Amazon, 
as well as the Nandy Quarter, both of which I will leave a link to in the description. Until next time.